Greetings, everyone. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions. And before I go on to do my next video talk show, I am stopping by from my immediate area off Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, the one and only, the famous Bendix Diner, as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld Netflix series, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. That's right. It is in my close area, and, and it, I love it here. Outstanding food, outstanding coffee, and I will go in soon before I go on to do my next show. Okay. James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions here. And uh, aside from the famous Bendix Diner in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, Route 17 South, right behind the famous Teterboro Airport, where everyone with private jets lands who wish to visit New York City. I, we are right next door directly next door to the famous Bananas Comedy Club in the Holiday Inn on Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey. And there it is. The famous Bananas Comedy Club with a very highly rated Gabriel's Restaurant. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Then you repeat it again. Then you repeat it again. Then you repeat it again. Stop it. Like the chattering teeth at the magic shop. No, I tell you, that's my line. I'm always going. <laughs> I get so sick of the people that talk uh, too much. Uh, and you know what I'm saying? Oh, they. And, I, let me. And you know what else they say? Let me tell you something. Like they, they'll uh, say that. Over. They mumble. I, I didn't understand a thing of what you said. Literally. Anyway, fuck it. I don't. You know, I've had somebody, I've, ha I've, I've had somebody actually get angry with me because I did not understand their accent. Then you get out. Then you get out. I tell them. I says, I'm go. sorry, sir. I can't understand you. You sound like a blithering idiot. I'm and, sorry. And then when I tell them your accent is real heavy, they, they give me a dirty look like, like it's me. No, it's not me. Tell them go fuck themselves. It's not me. Say fuck off. I don't care. I said, I'm sorry, sir. I can't understand what you're saying. Remember the one guy says, you don't talk a lot. I said, no, I don't. Well, you get to the point. I said, I get to the point, and that's it. I said, why do you guys insist on going on and on? I said, you have no clue how annoying that is. Oh, boy. I went, oh, that just got my whole day sort of wrong. So when is this hurricane supposed to touch ground? Thursday into Friday and sit there for a while. Yeah. It's bad. We're calling it the hurricane of a lifetime. And you know how many people want to want to ride it out? <laughs> not many. Well, no, not no, many. no. The idiots do. Well, this is the biggest evacuation in U.S. history. So uh, they're all getting out for the most part. And then when they interviewed them, the ones that want to ride it out, they sound like a bunch of stupid rednecks, like like inbred people. They don't know what they're doing. And Mother Nature will win every time. Yeah, until Father Nature gets steps in and says, cut your shit, bitch. Andrew. No, no, the human being doesn't. The human being never learns. Remember Andrew? The human being is ignorant. Now put the Coast Guard and everyone else's life in danger when you realize you're stuck. Remember he knows, what, he knows what my, I, I tell him all the time what my father always said to me. You can't get through to people. Yeah, but remember what Andrew did in South Florida? And you know what they said? Oh, our, our homes are tied down with steel cable. It's up. That don't mean, that don't mean nothing. That's what I said. You can't get through to people. It's that bad. Please. Prefabs. Even if it doesn't happen, leave. You can always go back to something that's stuck if it's a mistake. Wait. Are you staying there? And once it hits, but, if they can't get to you, you're screwed. But you know, the insurance companies got tired of paying out. They said, you got to build concrete, block, and steel homes on pilings. They don't have that. Elevated. They don't. Uh, yeah, how many people? How many people can afford that? With the, yeah. with the steel shutters that close. Again, you can't get through. 
you know, it's like it's like in, it's like in, it's like in Southern California. You know, people are still building up on the hills, so the so the mudslide with the mudslide and their homes come tumbling down. The mudslides. Hey. There was a phenomenal article in the USA Today this week. How would you say? Saying we are not pre prepared for any of nature's catastrophes. Climate change. And they listed everything. You can't be prepared for Mother Nature. You can be. You can be. They listed what you did. They asked all these people. Nobody had any. You know. Ready. You know. You know. After Mount Mount After Mount Etna. more ignorant. Getting more stupid. After Mount Etna in Sicily erupted, they still planted grapevines alongside of Mount Etna. They said, oh, the soil is great. Oh, yeah? Well, guess what? You lost your farm. <laughs> Mount St. Helens, what about the super volcano of Yellowstone? When that, if that thing blows, forget it. The whole... I asked this. They don't realize Old Faithful, that little guy there. Is, it's a huge volcano down below it. That's the super volcano. It's going to blow everything. I asked a guy from Oklahoma, do you have a basement? He goes, no. I says, why do people in Tornado Alley do not have a basement? Or or, or shelter? Well, it could be their land. I know in Texas you don't have basements. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the, right, right, the ground is too much sand. Yeah, they can't build it. Can't do it. Everything's going to be on a slab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll come down. I'll come down. You have a shelter built. Down in the yard somewhere. You have to build a shelter somewhere. Okay. You can't build a basement. Yeah. F5. There's nothing. At least you can stay underground. Well, you're safe. You're safe. No. An F5 could send a tractor trailer flying through the air. And yeah. No, that's real. And they went down below and they closed the doors and they like, all the hell's on you got. I don't know why you hold on to the doors for it. The doors going to suck you out. Yeah. Stay underground, the doors fall, they hope you're still safe. Was that Meg Ryan, that movie she was? Twister. Twister, I saw. Helen Hunt. Helen Hunt. What a bad Her father, her father's hanging on for dear life. Yeah, yeah right. I saw, the, I, saw, I saw another movie, not about the task. Home Alone. I watched five minutes and I said, this is God awful it, boring. It took him that long to, to see that, notice that their son wasn't in the car. Boring. What a boring movie. He got paid, he didn't care. Oh, God, I was in that. Yeah, I heard movie. Michael Jackson had a thing for him, Macaulay Most Culkin. The movies I see, they are boring <laughs> as can be. Yeah, who's that, um, that story? Uh, uh, yeah, e evil eyes. Evil eyes. I'm sure he was. He uh, that whole family. Well, Jack. That's why we got the ja the Jackie Coogan law that that the, the parents were ripping off the child stars for, for many decades. Joe Jackson was doing that's after the Coogan law, though. Money's the root of all evil. Sometimes the lack of money is the root all of all the evil too. Sometimes the lack of money. It's crazy. Hey, I, I couldn't believe my ears yesterday when Donald Trump was bragging about his success as when he handled Puerto Rico. His success at handling... The only thing he did for Puerto Rico was toss pa rolls of paper towels at them. That was not a good idea. And insult them. It was not a good idea for a paper towel. What is that? That's like insulting the people. And, and he... Chris Christie's going to take care of the people down the shore. I won't forget you. The houses are still not built. There, there's nothing there but beach. Mem Some people's houses are water, not even built. There's nothing there. Remember when he closed Island Beach yeah. State Park so him and his family could have the whole uh, beach to himself? I don't, I don't understand what these guys are thinking. You don't need a beach. Can you, can you tell me what they're thinking? They're politicians. They're all nuts. You see the shit. I had a, I had a friend of mine. He's an older guy. He's an asshole. Yeah, he was... I tell people the truth in the way it is. You're so negative. I said, okay, hot Negative? Shot. You tell me, I said, negative. I'm telling you the truth. You tell me what's good. Name one thing. I said, I'm waiting. What's good? You lost your son. 
the other son won't even talk to you. Your wife left you. What's good? He sat there. Me and Billy yesterday, we were saying it's not negativity, it's constructive pessimism. It's reality. It's reality. Stop I tell people, stop burning, stop burning your head in the sand like a damn ostrich, pretending nothing's going on around you. You better face reality. Reality sucks. The world's falling apart. I, I am not creating the bad. I'm just telling you what's going on, and you don't want to listen. So I said, you got a problem. I said, are you going to start seeing everything you do? I said, don't give me your bull I said, don't give me a crap. Not a living it, no matter what. We just take it as a There's a word. There's a word. There's a word. It's not, it's not going to get better. There's a word in the dictionary. It's called Pollyanna. Look at Syria. Pollyanna. This guy's killed over 500,000 of his own people. Oh. Al-Assad. Look at this more from the Philippines. Derrick's. Brags about murder. This other guy, uh, Erdogan of uh, Turkey. People are dying left and right. Nobody, you know, really, they don't get it. Yes, everything is beautiful. People say that to me all the time. You're being negative, James. You're being negative. Here. We think it's bad here. These other countries forget about it. Can you tell me what's good? Nothing good is good. We're just taking it day by day. All we're doing. Rich. Right. The middle class. Your only hope right now, basically, is if you hit the lottery if you play. Yeah, the Powerball. Yeah. Yeah. New is going to give you this big... No one's gonna give you. The governor's gonna give you. You're not gonna get nothing. It's still gonna work. Yeah, gonna Murphy, finish. Murphy. What is Murphy doing? He's just gonna raise your taxes. Did, 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 did he lower property taxes on the middle class? I don't see this guy doing anything. You know, the middle class. You know is, what they should do? Bring back Florio. Can't get any worse. Bring that moron back. Uh, they, I mean, bring Murphy it, wants to get free college. Work. Bring, him, pay for bring him back. Let it go. Let's screw it all up with one big slap. McGreevy. Slam. Remember McGreevy? Bring him back. Bring them both back. I saw him on TV recently. He's a pastor oh, now. Sure. He's a minister. He had to bring his parents on TV to announce that he was dead. We should become like, really? uh, ordained. He had, a be TV. he had a beautiful wife. I know. Beautiful I mean, wife. My parents had to sit there while he announced it. Why try to get it? You want to announce it? Do it on your own. Don't bring your mother and father on TV, too. Like, well, I mean. Why? Why did he have to do that? Oh, my God. Hold on. Oh, Don't say nothing yet. Have you ever seen The Walking Dead? She's from that. This, this, this woman. Watch out, she's a sex fanatic. This woman, listen, this woman a, a, a week and a half ago told, looked in my eye and says, I come here every day at 3.15 p.m. We haven't seen her for a week and a half. That's like Steve going to try to beat me. She right. doesn't have a damn clue as I like, I like anything. Cor no, she doesn't. I like Cuomo. She's an actress. She, the, she cannot even begin. He says to her, where are you going to get I've the been, money I'm, I'm to the, pay for these things you want to do? I think this should be a landslide. And this, fair. and this, what She's do you an call asshole. Listen, and she's this, a nasty and, this, and this Jeff oh, Bezos of Amazon, that, that, oh man, he, he doesn't even hire people outright. He has people from agencies coming in. And he pays him shit. And I he gets that no benefits. Cuomo and Nixon. She wouldn't even let him talk. No, she was awful. I am. I mean, here, that's not right. I well, give the guy a chance to talk. Well, what's her yeah, name? We're having a debate. He said, You had your turn. Give me my turn. Kellyanne Conway kept on interrupting uh, Chris, Nixon, Chris Nixon Cuomo. Nixon was bad, though. Chris she Cuomo? was really nasty, Nixon, with that debate. I'd hurt her even more. Well, she has no chance to win. A, I get a better chance well, of winning than her. She's an ultra feminist. Quote unquote, if you get she my She doesn't trip. know how to manage money. She doesn't even know the budget in New York City because you don't have a clue it's as to anything about this. I came here, but it was too warm, so I left. She's a, she's a well, yeah, uh, now, well, we're we didn't the, now we're hearing the BS now. Here no, she's, you know what I mean by feminist? Oh, I'm on work. Oh, right, oh, 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 hey, hey, uh, I went to Bill's car to tell him it was too warm, but he didn't even see me because he was talking on the phone. But you told him you're here every day. I know, at but I got busy and I didn't come. Busy doing what? Oh, I need to, I need house, to. Oh, you everything. did not. I cleaned up a little bit, but not no, you much. Did. No, you didn't. Not you, much. You said you're here every day. Every day. Every day. <laughs> At least by 3.15 p.m. Seriously, but why did you lie? But the was supposed to be here today. I waited in for the aid and she canceled. The aid? Why did you lie to him? You said every day. Yeah, but I got busy. Yeah. You did not I get busy. busy. I was doing things. No, you weren't. I had, I had, I, I had a bunch of things. Oh, God. No, you did not. Where's my bottle of whiskey? I no. made it today. You didn't have things to do. Well, you told me every day. 
dough. Your key phrases every day. I went out to breakfast with my brother. What does that have to do with? What's that got to do with that every day? Yeah, but I couldn't make it if I was going out to breakfast. With not breakfast. Breakfast. Well, what's that got to do brother. with three fifteen? What does that have to do with three fifteen? What? What does breakfast that? got to do with three fifteen? Three fifteen p.m. <laughs> 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 but in the afternoon. You said every day, I though. I made it here. I can't make all right. it all the time. You, but but you told him every day. But don't say every day at 315. <laughs> don't say every day. That's what pissed sometimes him off. He said they didn't use... Sometimes I don't. You said if every you, day. Said she was I don't think she's getting this. She's not getting you it. You said every day. But well, if the A's, listen. If the A's going to be here at 330, I can't make it. She canceled today. I don't care if it's bacon and AIDS. So well, it's an aid don't say, say every day. A replacement. You're supposed to have an aid. You get an aid. They'll serve somebody else. What? Aid. You get an aid. If she cancels, you get yeah, somebody else. Things. What kind of an agency are you dealing She's with? She's going to make up the hours. That's not the point. It's if you needed an aid today, somebody should have been there. Let me ask you. Yeah. What's me, going on here? Let me ask you a magic word. You should have said, I'm here occasionally at around 3.50, once in a while. Eileen, why are you Don't busy? say every day. Why, why, Eileen, why are you lying? Come on, man, really. Oh, I have I a... I meant occasionally, you know? She no, meant it, but well, she... how are we supposed to know that? You told him every day. How do you use the word occasionally? Yes, you... Oh, here you no, go. you uh, said every day. Then Jimmy's a liar. Is he looked me right in the eye and Jimmy's said every a liar. Day. Oh, I have a magic question. Did you get the St. Benedict's Medallion blessed with holy water? I did. With holy water? Did you take it out of the wrapper? Yep. Because he, he has to touch it with the holy water. Yep. You did? Yep. Good. I'm proud of you. And you put it on your headboard with the tape like you said you were going to do? By the couch. I sleep on the couch now. Why? Why do you sleep on the couch? Because of the air conditioner, so I can have the air Oh, you mean the AC is in the living room? Yep. You don't have one in the bedroom? It's an old one. It doesn't work that good. Yeah, but what do you do and when you when you and Ray are out. when you you and Ray are well? You know super what do you do? You know how you solve the problem? You know what I do? Get one of those big fans and put it in the hallway, facing the bedrooms. I'll be back after the bed. Yes, it'll take all the cold there. You know, put the put the living room air conditioner. I'm on. afraid of walking into it. That's how I got this big scar. Get a night light. Oh, you did not. Put a night light in there. Get a night light. Put the AC on cold in the living room. Put the fan on on high in in, in the in the hallway, facing the rooms. Put get a night light like I have. I got night. I got LED night lights all over the house. Otherwise, you're gonna you're gonna start running into walls and everything. And the cold air will come right in your bedroom. It works. Yeah, like yeah. Pretend. Here now. Oh. It's so cold. All right, listen. Pretend this table is your living room. Pretend this is the the hallway going to your bedroom and I guess the bathroom, right? Put the fan at right where the living room meets the hallway and face it towards the bedroom. It's this way. That's your bedroom. That table's your bedroom. This is the living room. This is the hallway. Put it like the fan right here, so it takes all that cold air and it shoots it down the hallway. It'll go into your bedroom. This is my bedroom and this is the hallway. Okay, now the hallway facing your bedroom. The hallway doesn't face my bedroom. What, does the hallway go by the living room? It goes by the living room. So that's where you're gonna put the, the, the big fan facing not the kitchen, but what facing your bedroom. And that'll blow all the cold air from the living room and you'll feel it and it'll go right into your bedroom. But you have to have, to have it on high. You can't have it on low. Okay, that should be easy enough. Yeah, but you should have seen how hot it was. Uh, I was here and it was too hot, I left. Well, now it's, I'm not complaining. It's, it's working now. I came earlier, like at 3 o'clock, and it was too hot, and I left. Well, at three least... 10, 3.15, I saw Bill in my lap. At he least if it, car. at least if it's chilly, you can always wear clothing and your jacket or a sweater. If it's hot, you could be 
You could be buck naked, it doesn't matter. You're still gonna be hot and uncomfortable. You could be naked and you could be dying of the heat and humidity. But if you're cold, you can always wear layers. Are you cold or not? No, no, I'm, I'm comfortable. You must have socks on, I got no socks on. I got, I got heavy, I got heavy work socks. Mm -hmm. Are they wool or what? No, no, they're cotton, but I, I get them at the dollar store. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but, uh, no, no, layers, you can't go wrong. When it, when October rolls around, I think you better start wearing socks. I wear, I wear layers. I wear, um... If I put my insulated, uh, what's the word, Qu quilted vest, I have a vest that's quilted. If I wear that and a, and a windbreaker from the gap over that, I'm more warm than if I put a winter coat on. Why? Because when you wear layers, pockets of air get trapped. I'm telling her about how effective layers are in the winter time. Why? No, she, she might remember what I'm telling her. He's not going to remember. Oh, God, help me. She's and feeding us a load of bullshit, aren't you, Riley? Aren't I'm you? Not a bullshit. Oh, she bullshit. got. Bullshit. She, she got. No, you're not. She got the medallion blessed with holy water by Did a priest. You really? I don't know. Well, she taught, looked me in the eye and told me. Uh huh. What's that mean? She looked you in the eye and said she's here every day at 315. What's that got to do with it? Oh, by the way, there's a difference between occasionally and every day. I just want you to know that. Hey, let me see if your what's purse... It, what, what's it called? What medallion is that? St. Benedict. You should get a what? Blessed. By the priest. Yes, with holy water. Yeah. Our friend here at McDonald's, Eileen, did she get the medallion of St. Benedict blessed with holy water by the priest at her church? No. It says no, you're lying. Oh yeah, no. Lie. Is Eileen feeding Jimmy a total load of bullshit? Yeah, that's right into a big yes. Yeah, a profuse lying or compulsive lying is a very bad trait to have as a human. God, Eileen, Jesus, I, I man, mean, why do you do that? You can't believe that whole thing. Why yet. can't you? You know how you know how hard why, it we is. We can't believe you. Come on. Why? You know how hard it is to find that particular St. Benedict medallion is you said it was hard very, to very hard to find. Eileen says we can't believe you. Is, is that true? Now my hernia is starting to bother me because I'm getting all upset. Is Eileen, watch the top itself. Is Eileen feeding us another load of bullshit? Right in the back, it, look at that by itself, right into a yes. Does kissing the Blarney Stone mean you're full of shit? Where, in Ireland? In Ireland. In Ireland, there's a legend about kissing the Blarney Stone. Does that mean you're full of shit? <laughs> Why did you ask about a Blarney Stone? I don't get because, it. Because that's like an old saying, like if you have gifted gab and you're Irish, they say you kiss the blarney stone. I don't get it. Why'd you bring that up, though? You know? Because I'm trying to, I'm trying to in, invalidate her. What's that got to do with her? Because she, she, she talks about her Irish pride. She's full of shit. Liar. She didn't get that thing. She, she You know she didn't go up to any yeah, priest and say blesses. But when somebody can look you in the eye, that's pretty bad. It's a chronic liar that believes what they say, even though it's a lie. She's lying. Well, our, our president does it, so I guess, you know. Uh -huh, yes. Where'd she go? She leave or go to the bathroom? She didn't say a word. She didn't say a word. Was right here again or something? That's like soci sociopathic. Is that the right word? When somebody feels no remorse for what they do? Sociopathic. You know, I get up, I say, I'm going to the bathroom. Well, they're psychotic. I mean, you don't just get up and walk away. You used to, remember that? You had a until I told you. So why? Because I had to go. Because I had to go real bad. I said, why don't you tell people where you're going? Remember? I should have said. I got on you about that. I should have said excuse. You get right up and just walk. I'm like, where the fuck is he going? I get up and I say, I'll be right back. I'm going to the bathroom. Yeah. 
I should have said, excuse me, yes, I'm going to should. the men's room. Yes. Well, I'm agreeing with you. We call it, but for a long time. Manners. You did, yes. Communication skills. Lack of. The it was a lack of manners that I did not. I'm going not. to the bathroom. Can I bring you anything? Well, not from the bathroom. Oh, by the way, speaking of men's room, this guy ran into the into the stall to urinate. He would not stand next to me and well, urinate. Well, first of all, you gotta, you gotta let us know. Where? Here. Oh, here, okay. In the restroom here, he in the men's room. Next to you. He came in, he, he looked like he was headed for the urinal. He booked it into the stall with the door open, urinated, and that was it. I know, I've had that happen. It's almost like these they're, guys- They will not stand next to you, they're so afraid. They're so afraid- She oh, won't stand next to What's the word, homophobic? Person. Yeah. They're afraid that a guy is gonna be checking their junk out. She's homophiliac. She's a what? Oh, nothing, Eileen, Jesus. The, the amulet said you're, you're a pathological liar. You lie constantly. <laughs> you do, you do. Why though? You know, really, it's I really, mean, you know, we're your friends. Good. You shouldn't, you know. You don't have to lie. Tell the truth. Don't lie to your friends. Yeah, tell the truth. We never lie to you. I mean, the amateur told us about your hoarding, and then you said I threw some things out. It was two, two expired coupons. Uh, excuse me. How come you don't? You're not resting your purse on the table. Did you clean the purse out? A little bit, but not much. <laughs> Why just a little bit? You keep laughing. Why? I like to save things. Bill. Why? Why? It makes me feel good. How? Like the, I got things. They're ex useless. Things. But it's junk. You think you think Red Fox and Sanford and Son, everything in his front yard, had value? Most of it was junk. It was called the ju junkyard, right? Eileen's junkyard. Well, that's her purse. Well, maybe, well, maybe it's her apartment. Not Eileen. What's wrong? You Seriously. know, clutter is bad luck according to the ancient Chinese. Oh, uh, yeah? Clutter is really bad because it blocks positive energy, chi energy from coming into your home. I know, but you're not eating well, are you? What? You're not eating well. Eating well? Eating well. I guess I'm eating well. well. You never know. You always tell me you're not. Now you guess you are. Uh, sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. What's today? Wednesday? So that makes it maniacal Wednesday madness today. Okay, gotcha. That'd be a good reality. I yeah. had two hot dogs all day. Yeah, but you have to you have to bite them. Don't suck them. Did you? I, I bit them. When when you bit the hot dogs, did you say, "Oh Ray, you never tasted so good"? Ray, <laughs> hope you're here. Hope you're here soon. <laughs> I miss you. Ah, hearty, har har har. Uh, too much. Ooh, or that, that, that friend of yours, uh, Galupi. Guy Galupi, what the hell's his name? The boyfriend? Yeah. Jalupa? I forgot his name. Joy Boy. <laughs> Joy Boy. God, Eileen. Oh my, the guy that you haven't physically been with in a year. Are we ever going to straighten you out somehow? Uh, you know what? No wonder uh, my hernia, my sec, my hernia is hurt burning now. Oh, I'm really disappointed that you lied to us about stuff she's changing the subject only over your apartment building what only over my apartment building you yeah. said what then you repeated it perfectly why did you do that just to make sure i hear with this music blasting it's not blasting it's actually low yes i mean oh my god is it blasting a oh, funny when i when i'm when i'm stressed it burns it's called you have an eileen complex no, it's the fact that she profusely the 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 lies, and 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 she has. Well, she loves you. And she has a. She loves Jim. And she thinks. And, and, and she feels. And she thinks that uh, junk has value. Let me see if uh, I can get rid of this. Receipt. Remember, it's in my pocket. one receipt. Let's see what is the receipt for. Yes, My fun. God, what the hell is this? Looks like Gomez Jesus. Adams. Me remember uh, the what Adams family? Tick, tick, or tick. Holy and shit, I look how long that is. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, Billy. Remember the when, reality show, Eileen's World. Remember when Gomez used to check the stock market? He used to pull the tape out of the, the ticker tape. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
Oh my god. I'm surprised that the pocketbook did go. Now, if she kept on pulling it what out. What are the expiration dates on there? I just got it yesterday. Oh, okay. Yeah, but what else is in there? Do you have any animals in there? Yeah, like the de like decomposing animals, yeah. like road. Do you have any roadkill? Uh, I die. Her eye guy is in there. I forgot the hot dogs she had were probably roadkill. Oh my gosh, she's really studying that, huh? What are you? What? Are, what is she looking at? There's not what you're. What's a band deodorant? That's any deodorant, right? No, band is a a, a brand name. Ban, B-A-N. Any brand name deodorant? No, Ban is a brand name. Spell it. Oh, that's Spell it. B-A-N. That's Ban. a company. That's a that's brand. That's name of deodorant. No, it's not a company. It's a brand name. Yeah, it, yes. It'll say Ban on it. It's not, it's, it's not oh, Debris, Jesus. right? That's a different brand. Okay. That's the point. It it's, says Ban. It says Ban? That's the name of the deodorant, right? Yes, Eileen. If it wasn't for Eileen, liquor stores would lose a lot of money. God, Eileen, you wonder why people drink. You know what? I gotta, I gotta, go, I gotta stop and get a bottle of vodka or something before I go home. I got wine, but I think I need something a little more potent. I've had that fucking guy this morning. What is going? What is going on? How could Ben and it, she? She thinks all the odor and is like. Universal. It's a brand name. It's like buying Old Spice. It only applies to Old Spice. Bad is bad. Degree is degree. Oh, by the way, their commercials are funny. Oh. They're cute. You know what commercials I hate the most is Progressive Insurance Company. Oh. And all insurance company commercials are like nationwide with that stupid song. Nationwide is on your side. What are you looking at? You think nation? Want me to tear them up for you? No, you won't. Let you, me do it. You know, all that stuff in your purse can contribute to swamp ass. What? <laughs> Forget that. I just had diarrhea before I came oh. here. Well, it's a good thing Billy's not eating. Well, you yeah. have diarrhea of the mouth sometimes. You know why you had diarrhea? Because you're not eating properly, you're probably get, not getting enough fiber. You're too busy with Ray. If you can peel yourself off his swamp ass a little bit, maybe. Uh... Is, has Ray been like evacuating your colon lately? <laughs> He's giving her a, a colon, an old fashioned colonoscopy. I bet Ray has his own key. Oh, wait a minute. She's going to be reading this for an hour. Wait a minute. Ray doesn't have a spare key to your apartment, does he? Nobody's got a spare key to my apartment except the super. You're getting in there? You're putting that whole thing back in there? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, Irish whiskey. Where are you now? Or scotch. Oh, oh my gosh. Everything is so beautiful. Uh, we're losing Somehow our minds. we got to get your head straightened out. I don't know. We're losing our minds. Now, if a mule, if you stood behind a, a horse and he kicked you in the head, would you become like a me in the head? Would you become a genius in a split second? I'll be back. I'll have a cigarette. You know what? I think I need a little oxygen myself. Uh, don't talk to Eileen, maybe you'll talk some sense into her. I don't know what else to say to her. She won't listen. The ambulance says everything she told us is not true. Right. So I might as well come out and I get some yeah, air. Listen, oh, did you get your car fixed? Yeah, it got fixed, yeah. Should I believe it? I'll be right back. Should I believe it? answers i don't do it i don't influence i want a true answer now let me let me ask you a a, a good question it's a bit whimsical which is a funny word this hurricane that's going to hit it's going to hit friday okay right? now let me finish it's going to hit friday right thursday into friday go ahead jerry the hurricane is going to hit you think they should 
they would uh, break a record selling the hurricane for senior citizens. Do you ever see that infomercial, the hurricane? No. It's a cane. See, that's got nothing to do I think they, they should sell, they should do that infomercial nonstop as the hurricane hits. They would sell the, hur it's called the hurricane. It's a cane. Thursday night into Friday. Everything's going to sit there for a while. Everything goes over her head. Well, that was better it did. It was good, Thursday night into Friday and sit there. Yeah, but you know the, you know the information. Huh? At 6.30? No, that night. I don't know what time. How long is it going to last for? number of days it's going to sit, they say. Oh, yeah, I better get water and milk and juice. It's not coming no, here, Eileen. It's not, gonna, it's not gonna, it's coming. The North Carolina area. I didn't know that. The Carolinas. Oh, what? Oh, Someone don't you... told me it was coming here, I thought. Rain. Who told you that? We're going to get heavy rain. Torrential. Is that the right word? Torrential rain. No, I don't think we're getting torrential rain either. We're going to get a tropical storm. No, I, I didn't hear that. Well, it said it's going to affect the East Coast. Yeah, the East Coast down south. Oh, it did turn slightly south. No, it's Myrtle that's Beach. where they said it was going at all times. Myrtle Beach is going to get... It's Hurricane Florence. Is it going to hit us up here in New Jersey at all? Oh, God. Jimmy here said we're supposed to get torrential rain just from the hurricane. Is that true? All right, we'll see. Well, they don't say it. I don't know where you got that from, because they don't say anything about Jersey getting hit at all. In fact, the weekend's supposed to be beautiful up here, sunny in the 80s. So... Oh, so the rain we've been having is going to end. It has nothing to do with the hurricane. This rain has nothing to do with the hurricane that we're getting. They said there is no tie-in whatsoever. I heard a chime, Eileen. Is that your phone? That's if you find your phone. How did you get it? Oh, look, she knows where her phone is. Why did you start bringing your phone out? Oh, she has a smartphone. Yeah, but I don't know who is ringing here. No, I don't know. How do we know it was ringing? I didn't get it, you know? No, I don't know. Did they leave a voice message? I didn't know how to do my voice messages. Oh, for God's sakes. Oh, my Did God. you ever see Tribute, the Budweiser commercial? Yeah, you showed me. You showed me. It was a great commercial. Listen, you have a user manual? What's a manual? What's a manual for? Manual on my phone? A, ma a booklet. A manual. Tells you how to work. Did it come with the manual? Yes, it did. They all come with a manual. I don't know where the manual is. Not a manual that I work with Archie Bunker. A manual. A user manual. I don't know where the manual is for the phone. I probably threw it away. No, you didn't throw it away, I'm sure. Why would you throw away the user manual for that phone? And you keep all that junk? And you throw. She throws away important things and she keeps the junk. Oh. Help me, Johnny Walker. Where are you? The manual is important because. Okay, let's find out. It's a manual for your smartphone. Our friend here at McDonald's, Eileen, <laughs> she has a smartphone. The manual that came with it. Is that in her apartment somewhere? Saying yes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That means she's scoffing at the amulet when she laughs like that. She's I know, she's afraid of it, so. You were scared. You might be a little scared of the amulet. Scared of the manual, you said? Not no, the manual. No, Scared of what? The amulet. Scared of the leprechaun. Remember the horror, <laughs> from the horror movie? You know, the one that said, where's me gold? Where's me lucky charms? All right, you better take that. Hello? Can you find out who just called me, Jimmy? Well, uh, a letter. Well, where are you? All right, call me when you get here. I'm at McDonald's, okay? That's easy. Yeah, so pull in there. So call me when you get here, okay? Or I'll look for you. Okay, thanks, Joe. Bye-bye. I know.
Who was it? Listen, I'm going to show you something. Watch, pay attention to me, please. If you're making me nervous, this is text. Like a nice couple. This is text messages, okay? Jerry, text message you. That's Jerry Galupa. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pacha Galupa. Pacha Galupa. Hey, hey. <laughs> one a banana, two Baba banana, Baba three. Baba Remember when he did the banana thing? One a banana, two banana, three banana, and he put it together? Trying to tell Luca Stello he's selling him three bananas. This is a telephone receiver. Mm -hmm. Even Bill can see that. No, I can't. All right, now forget it, forget it. Press this. Now you press recent. Here, you see this on voice that says voicemail. Mm -hmm. Press that. <coughs> Tom sent you a voicemail by <coughs> Froy. Whoever the hell Froy is. This phone number. <laughs> Tom again, boy, this, Tom sends you a lot of voicemails. And see, and you go like this, okay? And then you go, recent, this is voicemail. So if you want to hear Tom, you push it, you, then you press speaker. But who was the person that just called me last? Right. I just showed you. Who was it, Recent, Tom? no, listen to me. Recent, you got to read, man. Mm -hmm. It says recent. I have my reading glasses. Uh, I'm cool. uh, this per Hudson, New York, 518. I and Brewster, then it's bull, it, it's crap. <laughs> Don't worry about it. But you got voice. So now you know how to check your voicemails and your calls. Text message, your calls. Okay, it's, thank you. It's what they say. It's what they say is uh, self-explanatory. Eileen? It's a solicitation. Eileen, you blind me. You. <laughs> I'm trying to learn or something. It's all lie. Everything you just said, it won't work. Oh my God. See? Doing it again. My phone rang? Yeah. Some guy named Tom sends her an awful lot of voice messages. Gray's yeah. pseudonym. That wasn't my phone ring. That wasn't his ring. That's not my ring. We'll tell him that's got to stop. Is, 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 does Ray have an alias named Tom? Is that really. Ray, that's sending you voice uh, voice messages. Who's Tom? Ray. Then your brother's a nag because he's sending you a thousand and one voice messages. <laughs> Just went. Listen, you better study your your user manual, you knucklehead. She is a bona fide knucklehead. Oh. I, I've met knuckleheads, uh, numbskulls in my day, but she takes the cake. Oh, how you love that. Love? Oh, what am I doing? Now I can't get another coffee. I went and crushed it. See yes, what that? You can. Take that up, say, look. Oh, hold Crush on. No, I fixed it. I, I just can't believe her insanity that I ended up crushing it. It's when you have a crush on somebody. <laughs> You're funny. Oh. Yeah, right. Are you gonna get stuff? Are you? Are you? you know what? Let me get a little more coffee. Oh, Jesus Christ! I wish Joe to get here. I have to give him a piece, a letter from my card. Joe? Yeah. Has Joe been cooperating with you? He's a pain in the ass. He throws things up to your face, right? No, because I throw them back in his face. He doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't have a clue what's going on. What's the word from Jackie? Anything Anything good? Yeah, she told everything. Where is he? Does she have a clue about anything going on? No, he's another dysfunctional person then. He sure is your chronic liar. Oh, Jesus. What is going on with our society? I'm telling you all for years. It's getting worse and worse, Billy. I'm telling you all that for years, too. Speaking of devil, speaking of worse and worse. Oh, God. You know what? I think I'm going to see if my favorite bob bottle of bourbon came in before I go home. Likes water a lot. It's called Heaven Hill. It's only like 10, 10 or twelve dollars a bottle. 
showing you my favorite bourbon. Heaven. Oh. Food, food, food. Uh, I'm I, telling you. I'm telling you. He lies. Are you going to? It's not going to work. Are you going to retain what I showed you? No, you won't. Excuse me while I get coffee. Oh. I'm stressed out. I'm stressed out too. Too much stress. This is why you two You're deserve each other. You know how you can help your stress? First of all, tell the truth all the time. Second of all, throw out the junk. That's, that's, that's your free therapy. You don't have to go to a, 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 a social worker. This guy can help you. Go again. Your phone Serious? Your brother is trying to trying to get a hold of you. I think you better call. You know what? By the time I get the coffee, it'll be time to leave. Must be this first car, this hunting car, keep going. I know what it is here. I can't hear the phone. I can't hear this close sound with everything else going on. I never heard the phone. I never hear it. Oh, she remembered what I showed her. Good for you. Who was it? Was it this Hudson Polaroid? If you don't recognize it, don't worry about it. Is it the Hudson Polaroid? You recognize that number? It's the, it's the head do you Yes, do you recognize that? No, thing? I don't recognize it. That it's a scammer or whatever. It's How do I get back to the screen again now? The other Press screen. the button. Press the button right Press, there? Press it. Okay, now check your, check your text. Scroll. Move your, hit the text button. Hit the text thing. Hit it. Hit it. Now go. Now, now read it. And go like this with your fingers. See, you make it go up. Make it go down. And then you, you want to go back to the, to the main screen. You hit the big button again. See, I'm learning you. They never leave me alone, those solicitors. Why is your brother nagging so much? It's the solicitors. It's No, Tom, Tom Thumb is your brother, right? Tom Tom, 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 Yeah, like the, the, the march of the wooden soldiers, Tom, Tom. He's trying to get a hold of you. You better call him. We talk, we talk almost every day. Why does he, he send you a thousand voices? <laughs> I got a long way to get a refill of coffee. Ain't nobody in the front. Oh. Oh boy. Who lied to you about the phone? No, because she remembered what I told her, and she's doing it. She she's making it happen. She give you a stupid code. It's gonna backfire. You watch. Code. No, it's, it's backfire. I'm giving you. I'm giving you the right information. No, he's lying. It's broke. You so, did is program the phone. It's going to shut down electronically in a matter of hours. No, it's going to explode like Mission Impossible. Right. Remember the right. self-destruct tape? Now you got. Now you got that theme song in my head. No, we didn't. You did yourself. Talk to Eileen. Eileen, talk to Jimmy. Talk to Jimmy. How long you think you've got to have to wait for coffee, Jimmy? Nobody's here, Jerry. All right, let me go. Let me go get it now. Well, now, while well, you can. Guess what? The line moved over here. Hardy. You just couldn't see the line. You couldn't see the line because it was behind the wall. That was actually funny. There's nobody there. Yeah, there is nobody there. They're all over there. Nobody knows. Over there.
There is a cash What are you doing? doing? Bop, bop, bop. No, because I know. Uh, uh, that was actually funny. Physically, there's nobody there because the cash cash registers open over there. Can't make this stuff up. Well, except what you told her about the phone. It's a lie, Eileen. I, wait a minute. Is that an iPhone like mine? It's an iPhone. That's why I recognize everything on it. That's why you're screwed. That's why you're screwed. You know who liked my post on Twitter? No. Leonardo DiCaprio. Mm -hmm. Eileen, I got a humongous following on Twitter. You do not. Humongous. You do but all my not. political uh, words of wisdom oh, and everything I say, stop, I do. I'm telling the truth. No, what do you think? Not. I'm her? Yes. <laughs> you do not. Listen, when did I ever tell fibs to you? Jimmy, all the Come time. Come on. Jim, no, Jimmy. no, no. I got a following. No, you don't. I do. No, you don't. I do. No, well, don't. I'm on Twitter every day. I know, but nobody cares. No, I got a following. This one's following me. That one's following me. I got a following, man. Huge following. My, my, what you want to call it? A huge following? Well, huge. You might, listen, my words of wisdom blow, yes, blow my, the universe my, apart. Did my friend Jimmy Madonna have a huge following on Twitter? That's because the spirit that moves that likes Billy. And doesn't like nobody else. That's why it's saying no. I really do have a following. Does Jimmy really have a following? Yeah. That's why if I take a if I pr take a print screen and, and bring it in, it'll approve it. Excuse me, I burped. What was that? A burp. That was a burp. It yeah. sounded like a I truck. I hot dogs. They, they give a lot of indigestion. Oh Jesus! Don't don't tell me. That means you got a stinky burp. Listen, don't mention your diary until you're alone with Jimmy, okay? So. No, alone with Ray, maybe, not me. Well, maybe you'll have a threesome, you and Ray. You'd like that, huh? Then, I, then, then, then the asteroid should hit the planet Earth if that was the case, because that kind of desperation is... You know, he's coming from Paramus. How long does that take? Jesus Christ, he called 15 minutes ago. Come on, man. I, all this bullshit. I hope he doesn't have you. I don't have. I hope he doesn't have you sitting here. I don't care. I don't care. I'll go back over there. He calls. It's a, I'll just say I left. I'm over here at the hotel. Eileen, in all reality, my following is growing by leaps and bounds every day. It is don't not. don't pay attention to this guy in the amulet. No, it really not. is. For no, real. it's not, Jimmy. For real, he just wants to have the big following over I don't over. Want any following? Oh. I don't want people to bother me. I don't. Yeah. Want You're like bothered. my brother-in-law. He wants to live a low-profile life. Well, then you said I want to be now. I want a low profile. All right, now I. Your mind up. So that's your problem. No, you you, you just justified the reason I, why you went from one to the other. Because you told me that you don't want to be bothered. I don't. And you said he, Billy wants to have a big follower. I said, no, I don't. I don't want oh. to be bothered. Then you change it. He doesn't well, want I, to be bothered. I was, I was thinking of Andrew Anderson uh, when you uh, said that. Yeah. Jimmy. Andrew uh, Anderson, you know. That's the only reason Tom Celentano and his family didn't see you back then, because they said there was nobody watching. Jesus. Yeah, I wonder what he's up to. I wonder where he is. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? You can't talk without us carrying the conversation? <laughs> I'm just quiet today. You are, huh? Why? I'm just thinking about things. Well, think out loud. What are you thinking about? Just upset about something, but I'd rather not talk about it. Why? Too Were you standing naked in front of the mirror at home and that upset you? No, just something I'd rather not talk about. Oh, oh you want to 
rather I wasn't here so you could tell Jimmy, I guess. No, I'd rather talk to, I'd rather not talk to uh, Well, Well, who would be able to solve this dilemma of yours, this problem? Nobody. Nobody. Oh, come on, everything has to come on. You gotta tell, tell somebody about it. I Not, discussed it with my brother already. But you just said nobody. Now it's your brother. Your brother's getting on your back about things? No, I discussed the problem with him and he told me how they stay. You know what gets me is you say your brother and you're this and that and this and that. And not too many months ago you accused him of going into your apartment no, stealing no, your money. Did you hear what she just said? She discussed something that was important to her with him, and but she, you didn't trust him. And he blew, ago, and he was stealing your money, supposedly. He remember? blew her off. Yeah, but he listens to my problems. But he just said he blew you off. Jimmy just said your brother blew you off. Oh wait a minute. He he. No, he listens to my problems. How could he though? listen to your problems if you just said? He says, "Have a nice day, Eileen." He listened to my problems, and then he said, "Have a nice day." Of course, he listened to it. He was sitting there, right? But he no, didn't. On the phone, he listened. But he don't care. Well, you know, what can he say? He's got nothing to say. He can't. He can't. He can't help me about it. You know. Well, you didn't trust this guy months ago, and you said, "All right." Upset. And you said he was stealing your money just a few months but ago. Please don't get me All upset. Right. We're not, but but you know. It's so like, he doesn't have an opinion, is what you're saying. He doesn't want to give his opinion. He stays, he, he stays without giving. So this is a guy you can trust to tell things to then if he doesn't give you a you, advice you might, back? You might as ahead. well have breakfast with a ventriloquist dummy or he's a mannequin. Gonna, if he's not going to offer you some advice, what, what is it? Gee, that's some brother. Mm -hmm. He says I'm an adult, I can do my own thing now. That's so. not true, not which all adults you don't can give do things shit, on their own. Which means you don't, give, you don't care about it. Like other people says, he don't care to me. Hey, obviously, he doesn't. Does Eileen's brother give her any good advice? What does it say? No. Yeah, that's how it goes, Jimmy. And so. He probably doesn't give you any? Does he more, does Eileen's brother more or less just brush her off? What's it say, yes? Yes. That's how it goes. Is Arlene's brother a good brother to her? What's it say? No. Yep. Oh, crazy. oh, here we go. Here's Nosy. I To be honest with you, it sounds like he's a selfish individual. So what's the point in having a rel? In other words, this, this proves that friends can be closer, much closer than relatives. That's what even my friend said that died last year. Just because you're blood blood related, that doesn't guarantee anything. Yeah. That doesn't mean anything if you're blood related. Sometimes blood if means shit sometimes. Yeah, you, you, Don't say I said it, but it's No, no, no. You know that stupid saying about blood being thicker than water and all that it's crap? No, it's not. What is going on over there? Doesn't this franchise owner... He's got 49 franchises besides this one, I heard. He doesn't even hire enough people. They're trying to save money. Save money? No, it is, it's called greed. Look how long I'm waiting. Now that's proof that there's nobody back there. It's the one. Which means I'm not going to get a read. How long is the line? Several people. Two or three but there's or only one? one person. The manager is, is is only the only person working the front end. The, Just the, the manager. Right there. Yeah. Oh, no, but yeah. Don't listen. Don't don't believe this this character. I really do have a big following on the internet, on on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. He's full of shit. 
and the amulet is also full of shit. Believe me, when I tell you. Spied about me and Ray, there's nothing going on with me and Ray. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh. Oh boy. Yeah, I know. Well, for you, yeah. You need those. Co you need those copper. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for those tomorrow. Brett Favre. Listen, when you get when you get back in the apartment, you give me back my sweater, all right? I'm gonna need. Don't worry. I'm gonna need. It. Okay, let me see if I can get coffee now. Now you will find out, Eileen, the amulet does not lie. It only gives you the honest answer. Right about me and Ray, there's nothing going on with me and Ray. Uh -huh. First one, I swear to die. Yeah. <laughs> You'll find out. Yes, we will. Someday when you die, if you ever go to heaven, you'll find out, though. Oh, Jesus. Uh -huh. Everybody finds out everything you know. Who said that? Let me see if about you and I pray. Is there... Down here are two friends at McDonald's, Ray and Eileen. Is there anything going on between Eileen and Ray? Oh, jeez. Yes. Have Jimmy do it and see what it says. Well, Jimmy has different energy. His energy is not good, it said. No, no, it's just your spirit likes you and doesn't like anybody else. Jimmy says, you like my spirit, but don't like anybody else. Is that true? Oh, what's it gonna say? Well, you tell me. Oh, God. Does Jimmy make a lot of false statements? <laughs> Until I take a polygraph. What? Polygraph test. Lie detector. <laughs> Has nothing to do with parrots, by the way. Poly, polygraph. Oh, God. It doesn't lie, I think. So. Hey, I bet you could, at Gabriel's at the bar, I bet you can hook up with a lot of chicks in there and bang them in your room. I got a clear conscience, so it don't bother me. That thing could swing for a million years <laughs> and I wouldn't care. It could you're... swing until everybody died and I wouldn't care. You do care because you're afraid of it. Oh, I'm not afraid God. that, it, that oh. it's, um, I know it's lying about me, so I don't care. It's not care. lying about you. I know it is. So. <coughs> no, it's not. I'll I'm give a million dollars this time. Well, we're going to get a million right. dollars from What? Where are you going to get a million dollars? If right? someone had a million dollars, I would give it. You would give away their money. Uh, if they give it to me, I would give it away. A million is not enough nowadays. You got you need at least a hundred million. <laughs> out here at McDonald's, our friend Eileen, is she afraid of you? It's saying that you're afraid of the amulet. Yes, you are too. Stop it. <laughs> Come on, Eileen. You are, and you know it. I'm only afraid of the devil. Oh, no, God. then, the, yeah, but then he'll attack you more. You better keep that. You better keep. That's if you really got a bless. You better keep she that. Did, she didn't get bite blessed. When you, where you sleep, you know what I mean, Jelly Bean? She didn't get it blessed. Now, if, if you're in a sofa, is it a, is it a cloth sofa or a leather? Then, then don't use a safety pin. Use a piece of um, uh, packing tape or duct tape. That's if you got a bless. She didn't get a bless. Is the holy water you have real holy water? Yeah, it comes from church. Somebody gave it to me. Somebody gave it to you? Yeah. How do you know that they're That's getting... you had it analyzed? She's a lady, she's a lady that runs the religious church. She runs it? 
Don't trust anybody. Uh, get it yourself. Yes, and, and the Catholic priest never molest anybody. Oh, my God. Oh, whiskey, where are you? Yes, the Catholic priest, all they practice is homosexuality, I mean, okay? You listen, don't hear other religions doing this, listen, do you? Listen, Only the Catholic listen. religion. The church in my town has a fountain made of marble. It's full of holy water. Go in, bring a bottle, and fill it yourself. Don't believe others. Don't even... Well, why should she believe your church? You don't know that's holy water. Well, supposedly it's blessed. So that says who? Well, when the priest throws it on, on, a, on, a, on a possessed person, it, it, it burns them. It sizzles like acid. Shit, they have it on. They have it on video. Oh, please, they're acting. You mean like like a TV evangelist? Where is it? What church is this? No, when when the Catholic Church sends a priest to do an exorcism, they they have taken videos of it. Mm -hmm. But I wonder if an exorcism has anything to do with religion. Uh, well, they they claim it's demonic possession. Yeah, but does that have anything to do with religion? It may not. It may not. And maybe it's extraterrestrial. Oh, bathroom again? Where are you going? How come she only gets water when she comes here? You ever notice that? Does exor do exorcisms have anything to do with religion? Hmm, interesting. You see my point? What I was making? Yeah, that was a very good question. Because, you know, people say, well, that and it's not, that, it's not necessarily religion. No, it could be another entity. Mm -hmm, that's right. Interdimensional trap. I said it, it doesn't mean it's religion. No. Could be, that's why clever debate. It could be interdimensional travel. You analyze things and you see and debate and get to the point and get out of it. Say, quick questions. Extra. Does it have anything to do with religion? Maybe, I don't know. Extraterrestrial. Maybe that, maybe not. I would have assumed the Anunnaki, the oldest alien race there is, would know. Well, they did substantiate that there is an energy force that leaves our body when we die. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean it's religious, does it? No. Could be the essence of what makes us who we are. Well, there is no such thing as death and dying, I told you. Um, I was um, reading a bunch of articles from Science Magazine, Science Channel, Science Magazine. We are accelerating, advancing at a rapid rate. Mm -hmm. well, what do you think? I think we're getting help. I told you that for how many years? I told you everything you're using is alien technology at all. They use, there's a term they use, reverse engineering. Well, that's just a term, but the bottom line is the bottom, we're getting help from the Anunnaki. Of Werner von Braun, Nikola, Nikola Tesla. I told you what von Braun said, he pointed to the corner. Oh, All shit. our technological advances with the matter of coffee. Is the human race getting help from the Anunnaki primarily? How quickly it gets answered, see? That was a big swing. That's right, very quick swing too, right into it. Okay, there she is. What am I gonna have to do? Well, five minutes till she goes to the bathroom again. What are you up all night long then? You must go to the bathroom all night. Yeah, I can't hold my bladder. They said to take medicine for it, but I don't want to You take can't it. hold your bladder. You mean you take your bladder out of your body and you physically hold it? <laughs> Be more specific, Eileen. You mean your urine? You have trouble holding, retaining your urine when your bladder is full. Okay. You know what? Not now. I don't need it because I have plenty of everything at home. The only thing I don't have is hard liquor, which I think I'm going to probably need. Right. <laughs> It's getting it's getting chilly. Well, this this manager's good. She turns it up. Uh, it's good. Isn't it funny when Daisy's here? It's, I'd rather be cold than hot. Though. Well, of course, because then you you can always add. 
It's going to be hot this weekend, too. Uh, people are going to get sick. In the 80s, right? What temperature is it now, Jimmy? I'm sorry? What temperature is it now? What time do... What temperature is it now? What am I, uh... uh what do I look on your phone? Don't you have a weather a weather app? Yeah, I should have a weather app. So when you call it on 18459315 Jerry. Now hit weather, find scroll. Here we go. There we go. Press that. 74 degrees. Right, now see the rest of the week? Now you go like this. It says it right here, that's the week, Thursday. Or maybe go sideways. Thursday, 79, Friday, 76, Now, if it wasn't for me showing her this shirt, she wouldn't even know. You were, see, I, you got an education today for your phone. Mm -hmm. You better find that manual, by the way. You have a bookshelf at home? No, I don't. Forget it. I was going to say put the manual in your bookshelf, but if you don't have a book, <laughs> you have you have a you have an important dresser dresser drawer. Yeah. Then put it in there. I have to find the manual first. It's a good idea. More water. Man, you drink more water than a camel in, at an oasis. You sure you weren't a camel in your last lifetime? Uh -huh. I'm trying to remember what I need to pick up. I need to pick up something before I go home and I honestly can't remember. Food for your mother or what? For my mother, no, no. Yeah, one person at the register, huh? This is real smart. Real smart. God, look at this. It doesn't even move. Oh, you know what I'm going to try with uh, my ramen noodles? I get straight ramen, organic ramen noodles. I got a can of that Y River crab soup, like the one you have in your apartment. I got two cans of oysters, shucked oysters from Maryland. I'm going to combine them all and I'm going to try it with the noodles and see how it is. Shucked oysters in a can? Are they good? In a can, yes. Yeah. Yes, they are. You yeah. like oysters? You like oysters? Yeah, they're good. If well, I ever had them, I'm not sure if I had them. I think did, I you ever, did you ever have mountain oysters? <laughs> Goat's balls. What? Goat's balls. Rocky Mountain oysters. Mountain oysters are goat's balls. The ghost balls? Goat's balls. Ghost balls? Goat's. Goat's balls. I don't think so. I was watching a western and they mentioned Rocky Mountain oysters on it. On Netflix, I've been watching a lot of great westerns. I tell you that hen I gotta look that Henry you must rifle. Watch a lot of Jimmy. No, only late at night. Only late at night. It helps with insomnia. Well, it's actually sex is much better than a movie, but that's how would you know? <laughs> you're 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 an amusing hands little don't rascal. Hands don't count, okay? You're an amusing rascal. Spike, he's a he's Spike. a very Spanks the monkey. He's a very whimsical guy. He spanks the monkey. <laughs> what does that mean, though? It means choke the chicken. <laughs> He's very whimsical, this William Morrow. Whimsical. What a funny name that is. A word, rather. Funny word. Cahoots is a funny word, too. Chicken oh. Hey. You used your college education. You knew flog, what that meant. Flog the dolphin. Wrong the dolphin. 
frog, like whip. What about frog the dolphin, spank the monkey, waxing the bishop? Yeah, waxing, waxing. These are all the things. These are all the things you do to Ray with Ray. You know, so. <laughs> wax, waxing, waxing the bishop. Oh your... Ray, you hunk a hunk a bird in love. <laughs> waxing the bishop. Well, the bishop on a chess set does look. Hmm. The bishop does. Don't bother looking. You look so much, right? Yeah, because uh, you're like Andrew Anderson. You want you want them all for yourself. I'm not going over to her. No, oh, okay. Are oh, you not? So don't bother looking. You don't say. I know. You, I know. I know you ain't gonna go over her because you, you're smooth. I have her eating out of my hand in no time. You're smooth. That's part of smoothness. I told you about the two sisters I met. The one is a professional photographer of fetishes. No, she's. Does she want to phot uh, photograph your junk in your hotel room? No, they're very nice, very friendly, very pretty, oh. both of them. They were, fr they were Dutch. Oh, yeah, they're. Don't. They never stick their hands in their pocket if you go on a date with them if they're Dutch. They're very tight with the for my stuff. They're very tight with the dollar. I hear you. 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 Yeah, who are you, Eileen? Well, that's it for this. Today's Wednesday, right? That's it for this uh, maniacal Wednesday madness. Between this and what we were talking about, Donald Trump, what he said yesterday, it's perfect together. Perfect together. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.